Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Saturday, the 13th of January, and I'm here today with a Chakra Wisdom Oracle card reading for you. Now, I've chosen these cards today because sometimes it is nice to just check in with our aura and our chakras and see if there's any little words of wisdom that we can do to help make sure that they're not blocked and that we're working at our highest purpose. So let's see what two cards come out with regards to that. Ooh, okay. Right, so we've got two cards. These only have a word on them, so take it as, you know, whatever, how you see it. We've got trickery there and we've got impatience, okay? So I'm going to deal with one at a time. Trickery, okay, have a good look at this card. What do you make of it? It's obviously a cold scene. Got the snowy trees in the background there. We've got the dragon kind of reaching out. Is he reaching out for the squirrel? Or does he want the nuts there? He's got a little bag of acorns. They're obviously maybe having some sort of negotiation, some sort of trade. And if you look here, he's got an acorn in his tail. Now, trickery is a, a difficult word to kind of work with, I guess, because... We don't like to trick people. I'm sure it's an uncomfortable feeling when we know that we're being tricked as well. But sometimes we have to work with people in order to get what we want. And I guess the reason that this is a green card, uh, not just because the dragon is green, but the border is green, which means that this is something to do with our heart chakra. Okay. So we can often trick our heart into believing that we want something, whereas we, you know, perhaps we really don't. And I, I kind of feel the message for me here in this particular card is what are they talking about? What are they negotiating? Is it worth it? And, you know, sometimes as, I think as you get older, especially you learn not to pick every battle, don't you? You learn sometimes it's just not worth it. And, you know, there might be this promise of something bigger. But what's the cost? What is the cost? Is this little squirrel in danger? You know, there's there's so many ifs and buts in that. You can read it in so many different ways. And I feel getting these cards and looking at the pictures and seeing how this card makes you feel. Are you fearful for the little squirrel? Are you thinking that the squirrel's actually quite clever and it's the dragon that's about to get tricked out of his acorn? Would the dragon really need an acorn? I don't know. But I guess the point is here, if you are working towards something that's your heart desire, make sure that it's got a, a truthful, authentic purpose. You don't want to get to where you need to be by having any kind of element of trickery, I guess, whether that's tricking other people or tricking yourself or allowing other people to trick you. So that's, that's an interesting question. Let's now look at impatience. I feel like this guy here, This I feel like this is the moon and this guy's got a stepladder up to it. <laughs> so he just can't wait for a full moon. So he's made his own. I don't know. It, it just seems like sometimes, I know we talked about manifesting things this week. But don't forget, we also had that hanged man energy. And I did mention and I say, go back and have a look at Thursday, Friday. Not everything's going to happen overnight. Some things are going to take time. So, you know, this guy is, is leaning up on this ladder, perhaps overreaching. Perhaps um, I, I watched an article actually recently about manifestation. And there's this idea that there's two different types of manifestation. So there's the forced one where you make things happen no matter what. And there's the surrendering manifestation. Now, forced manifestation works, but it works in a very limited way. Surrendering manifestation means that the universe puts you where you need to be to make things happen. And we don't always see that when we're forcing things to happen. OK, look here, we've got this spirit guide and he's kind of linked to the guy looking down on him. I feel like he's going, oh, well, come on, mate, I'm trying to help you here, you know, balancing on a ladder, as I tell my mum many times, can be a little bit precarious. <laughs> 
But, um, you know, is, it, is that ladder safe? Is he about to fall? It doesn't seem sensible to be that high in the sky, does it? With no kind of safety net. So how do we work these together? Well, I feel like the green, the green heart chakra, is asking us to get back in, in touch with our heart space. And if something doesn't feel right, if we're perhaps forcing ourselves down a path that we don't want to go or just something feels a bit uncomfortable, it might be worth asking why. You might have to take the longer route to get to where you need to be, yeah? That's the impatience kind of argument, isn't it? If you get impatient, you get frustrated. And if you get frustrated, you're not working with that universal energy. You're missing this. You're so busy looking here. You're not seeing how you're working, how you could be working on such a higher level. The impatience card is blue. That's linking to our throat chakra. So, you know, do you resonate with the fact that you try and do everything yourself? And perhaps you could have a conversation with somebody to explain what you're trying to do rather than just trying to push on and push on because maybe there is somebody that can help you get what you need to get without making it so difficult for yourself or feeling impatient and stressed or having to go down routes that you don't want to go through. So that's an interesting one for the weekend. Um, I hope that helped you in some way. I'll be back again tomorrow with another reading. I haven't quite decided whether it be a tarot or an oracle, maybe a little bit of both, who knows. But whatever happens today, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for joining me. Bye for now.